they were still the Not these ones. Actually, these ones wasn't that that bad, David. But the, 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 apart from the the larvae that was on the uh, on the cut backing and on the front of both. Of both. Really? Yes. Well, they 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 look like they hatched already. Right. So I don't know where I didn't see any other eggs, any signs of eggs or nothing oh, in it. So because I spread, I do spread. Like oh, well, there you go. So I didn't see none in the bedroom. I believe I see. I normally see them in the bedroom, but for some reason, Did you see any more? no, not in the bedroom for some reason, but in here. In here? No, it's just the larvae was in here. Yeah. Ah, okay. So you already have a problem with it. Well, especially those curtains in the bedroom. You don't want them to start eating away at that curtain. Today we're here and we're cleaning some curtains down in Earl's Court, London. As you know, you can't wet clean these curtains. You have to dry clean this. So here we are. Quite an expensive pair of curtains. So far we've managed to get this out of them by dry cleaning my foot. I don't know if you can see that. So that's what we've managed so far. Okay, so we're down in the mansion houses, apartments, and it was called London. After using this, cleaner one because you can't continue to use the same one so I'm going to show you what we get off of this pair and they're special made so this chap has been using us for a few years now to clean his curtains sometimes his carpet and we just come along clean up these curtains. Let's have freshen them up and just check them over making sure there's no rips, tears or moths living inside. Because yeah. once that starts to happen they will start to eat away at the fabric. Can you see what's coming off? using a dry cleaning solvent to remove any build up dirt that's ingrained into the fabric. Here are curtains like this could possibly set you back up to £2,000 or something like that. So. can't really take them down and take them to a dry cleaner a dry cleaner charges by the weight of the material to clean these and most dry cleaners most don't have a machine large enough to accommodate the weight of these curtains and in the regular dry cleaning stores. So this is what we're getting out. So yeah, that's what we're getting out so far. This was the first one. If you can see that. 
that was white when I began. If you need to freshen it up, how to freshen up the curtains. Without taking them to the dry here. This is how it's done. If you can see, these are moths. Yeah? They live in your curtains, on the back ends of your curtains. And if you don't, can you see that one up there? Moths or fleas or whatever it is, they will live in the back of your curtains. If you don't freshen up your curtains, they will start to build a nest. Find you've got a problem with moths eating at your curtains. It's always a good idea to clean your curtains, at least freshen them up. You're able. Okay, guys, so there we have it three sets of curtains. And then there's three sets of blinds, which we're gonna quickly go over. Blinds are blinds are here. We're gonna quickly go over and possibly rehang them also. And just do these curtains and pelmets up here. We'll be using a nice clean. These don't look too bad actually. Just in case you drop something, a chemical, you have something to catch it. Most of all, it shows your professionalism, it shows that you care for your client's home. So, here, this time we have a permit. So we're going to start at the pelmet at the top and then do the curtains. I have a nice, pretty, white towel. actually see if you're removing anything because the colour and then on, on top of that just in case you don't want to be rubbing any colour that may be in your towel the colouring in your towel and it may just transfer onto your curtain i.e. these white curtains you use your red towel and then that just rubs in there it's virtually you know it can happen. Remember, always get in the back end, check for any creepy corners, and make sure we clean the back end for cobwebs and things like that. Make sure that we don't leave nothing like that in the curtains. You can see that 
Here's one of those larvae again. You can see that. I'll try to give you a close up. And then there's another one up here. Yeah. So those live in your curtain, guys. No matter how clean you think your home is, if you don't do this regularly and if you do it every day just maybe once a year once every six months once every nine months something like that you need to have this done to ensure especially those of you who have dark curtains and you can't see the larvae in your curtains look here we go again can you see it guys can you see it right there that's the larvae living in your curtains. So I have to dry clean curtains. The larvae living in your curtains. I'll see if there's any more on the back. There's another one, guys. Can you see that? Uh, there's a close-up I'm going to give you. Can you see that, guys? Yeah? And there's another one. So you have one here, and I'll move along, and you have one there. Those live in your curtains, guys. So, after watching this video, go and take a look at your curtains, guys. And there's another one there, guys. Can you see that? In your curtains. Doesn't mean your home is dirty, but look, guys. Can you see again? Do you see? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Love it, even in your curtains. Spider. Spider. why you should get your curtains cleaned by professional because this is, this is part of the job that we do. So you saw the larvae living there. There's another one down here. Um, I think it was. I'll move it too quickly. But there's another more here so I've put back up the blinds in the other room yeah. but I haven't strung them no I, in fact um, I might have to take them back down so oh. I them. oh okay okay um, oh. look no that's fine that's fine that's fine yeah yeah that's fine There are spiders and larvae in these curtains. What is that? Is that a... It is possible, but I haven't, I haven't got time to do it. Okay. Because I would have to bring up the machine, you see, but... Oh, I see. We'd have to try cleaning the whole carpet here. Um, yes and no. I could try attempt just to see. I don't think so, but probably because I am doing that, you might as well just do the carpet here, because I'm here. Otherwise, at some stage, you're already going to call me that. Um, minimum charge is going to be 60 just to do that there. So you might as well do the carpet in here, which is only going to cost you 80. You might as well do that.
Um, well, let's see what happens across the road. Okay. And maybe if they say to come do that, I can do that on the same day. Okay. Yeah? So that might be a good idea. Yes. It was pretty. Not these ones. Actually, these ones wasn't that that bad, David. But look, look, apart from the the larvae that was on the uh, on the backing and on the front of both. Of both. Really? Yes. What like they? Well, they 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 look like they hatched already. Right. So I don't know where I didn't see any other eggs, any signs of eggs or nothing oh, in right. it, so... Because I spread, I do spread. Oh, well there you go. So... I didn't see none in the bedroom. I believe I see, I normally see them in the bedroom, but for some reason... Did you see any no, not in the bedroom for some reason, but in here... Is there some rock in here? No, it's just the larvae was in here. Yeah. Ah, okay. So you already have a problem with it. Well, especially those curtains in the bedroom. You don't want them to start eating away at that curtain. Because it's better a, 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 a tin of spray than a couple of thousand of pounds to replace the curtain. Yes, yes. They eat all your chocolates. Yes. 